They are drawings that give you an inside look into the mind of a killer executed 20 years ago. Experts say they prove he would have been a danger to society if he got out of prison. A former news anchor worked 30 years to close the book on the Omaha area's most notorious child killer, John Jubert. For the first time, the public will see the horrific drawings Jubert made while on death row. Good evening, I'm Craig DeGrelli. Senior reporter Jake Wasikowski has this story you'll see only on three tonight. Jake. Craig, former KMTV anchor Mark Pettit interviewed Jubert seven times in the 1980s and wrote the book A Need to Kill. He's now reissuing the book with the drawings that experts say prove Jubert would have killed again. Sometimes people need to see things that are very difficult to see so that we can better understand and protect ourselves in the future. John Juber put fear into all of Omaha and surrounding cities more than 30 years ago. The airman at Offutt murdered Danny Joe Everly and Christopher Walden in 1983 in Bellevue and Papillion. He stripped the boys, tied their arms and legs, and stabbed them to death. Jubert was executed in 1996. While on death row in 1987, Jubert told former KMTV anchor Mark Pettit he fantasized about killing more kids and made drawings, but the prison refused to turn them over. For the first time ever, the drawings are released in Pettit's book, A Need to Kill, The Death Row Drawings. Pettit says after he sued in 2013 to get the drawings, a confidential source gave him copies that he had for 30 years. To be honest, it was a bit overwhelming. I had tried for 30 years to get these drawings, and then suddenly, out of nowhere, the source contacts me, and there they are. And it was exactly as prison officials described to me. The two drawings depict a man stabbing a young boy who's bound without a blindfold. The other, another boy, tied up but without hands and feet. Pettit had them analyzed. Forensic experts classify Jubert as a sexual sadist, a pedophile, and an organized offender. The scary part here was that he was fantasizing to perfect the act of murder if he ever had the chance uh, to do it again. And the profiler says there is now no lingering doubt that John Schubert would have committed murder again if by some chance he had ever been released from prison. The book also discusses a little known fact. Schubert was interviewed several times by the FBI and believed he could cut a deal and get out of prison. Sarpy County Attorney Lee Polakoff was an investigator in the Schubert case and wanted to see the drawings released so people can better understand the mind of a sadistic killer. I think we have an obligation to help people understand uh, what goes on and why it goes on and the fact that it really does happen. The Nebraska Department of Corrections did not make a representative available for an interview and they instead referred us to the Supreme Court decision denying the drawings. The new edition of A Need to Kill, the Death Row Drawings is available on createspace.com and will be on Amazon soon. Reporting live, Jake Wazikowski, KMTV Action 3 News. All right, many sense. It's a fascinating story, Jake. Thanks.